solo here. That's a good uh, addition to my grief uh, series. I think it might be, as a matter of fact. That could be the opening. Yes, just like on Dirt. Ah! So it would be Dead Bones. Um, nothing compares to you. If you love somebody, set them free. And then um, wait. Sounds off, huh? Can't tell. That's just a distortion, sort of. Um, Sting, but it's Alice in Chains. Them free. No, that's not good. If you need someone, wait. If you need somebody, set them free. Well, Okay, failure. Anyhow, we're going to do something special. I mean, we aren't going to lock it up and throw away the key, but check this out. I found this pick back again today. I've had this since the 90s. Look at how worn out that is. See that? It's usually a triangular shape, but now it's a diamond shape. I play the pick upside down, evidently. I'm supposed to use this bit. I like using the isosceles corners. Uh, let's see. So, art update. This will be fun, huh? It's, this is like a... What's it called? Unpackaging? Unwrapping? Uh, unboxing. It's called unboxing. That's what it is. So here, this one is called uh, something Rue de Rigola. And you can see I, I dropped in the sky today. It's a fade, or degrade, as I like to say. 
spray paint. It's actually uh, four colors of spray paint. I know that you can't really tell. But let's see how it turned out in relation to what went before. I'll do this somewhat carefully so I don't um, ruin. See right here, here's the homemade tracing uh, gra uh, Mimeo graph paper. It's just graphite on tracing paper. You can see the graphite came off on the tape right there. Can you see that? Right there. Okay, so let's see if this works out, huh? Okay, there's the part we masked off. Let me know if uh, anyone can't see this. Okay, ooh. This is looking nice, huh? Got that part off. Now, let's peel this. Oops, that's, that's some masking tape. Now here's the low tack. This is called delicate uh, surface tape. It's, I love it. I'm in love with it. I'm going to marry it. Here we go. Oh my, look at how, oh, look at how tasty that is. Look at how satisfying that is. Peel this off. It's a little bit difficult to do this and see what I'm doing at the same time. It's kind of dark in here right now. I spent the day uh, executing this. I taped it off and painted it. And that necessitates um, sort of rearranging Natalia. Look at that. Look at how tasty that is. Let's see if I can get shed some more light on the situation. There we go. Maybe get some on this side too, over here. Peel this part off. Okay, are you ready for it? Are you ready to be satisfied? Satisfaction guaranteed. Oh, not really. Not in this case. Here we go. Perhaps. Oh, someone is WhatsApping me. Let's see what that is later. Oh boy, how nice is this? Oh boy, look at that nice tight line there. Oh la la. Okay, a little bit of the pencil showing through. I might be able to am ameliorate that with some white pencil, but in the end, it might not be that consequential. Get some of this down here. Hey, if you're WhatsApping me, hit me on the chat in the Gram of Instas or the Book of Faces, okay? Because i am uh, got the timer on. And if I toggle over, I bet I know who it is. I bet it's my boy. Talk, tell me about... I might have a show this fr this Friday. Uh, again, on Montmartre. With uh, Gaetan, the organizator. Or one of the, the co-organizator. Last week, or two weekends ago, we had the... Bandabocus Arts Festival in Montmartre. And he has an open mic night on Montmartre at a place called Café Blanche. Look at that. It's so tasty. This worked out nice. Okay, now you can see here that this has got, this is glossy and this is sort of matte. You can see how the, the light sh is shining off of it. Let me get that back again. There it is. Boom. You see? And the light, the the glare disappears when I do that. So in the end, when this is all finished, I'm going to go over it with a uh, gloss uh, varnish. And it's not very glossy. It's actually uh, sort of a uh, hardcore satin. It's sort of a, an aggressive satin finish. And uh, I'm going to, uh, and that really, first of all, it sort of equalizes everything. You know, we all are in favor of equality, if not equity. And so that's, uh, so it bring and it also brings out the color. It's really nice. There's this gal I follow on the gram of Instas called Soy Milk. I suggest she's a, really, she's cute as a button. Okay, I guess I shouldn't be saying that. But she is a excellent painter as well. And uh, she was doing a process video where she was putting varnish on the, on the painting of a kitty, as a matter of fact. Kind of a creepy kitty. 
very, very well done. Very detailed, very naturalistic. Look at that. Look at that, eh? Look at that. It's coming along, hey? Ooh. Kind of liking it. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take the the, uh, the transfer, the Mimeo, the homemade uh, graph paper, or, uh, yeah, uh, like a Mimeo graph paper, sort of, or a transfer. Uh, sort of like those old things from the 80s and 70s we used to use to, uh, to copy... Uh, and also sometimes I, they might still use them, waitresses, I think, or waiters, uh, wait staff, excuse me for gendering the, uh, the staff um, to use to make a duplicate, duplicate copy. So here, you see this lays right over. And so I'm going to go in there and trace in and drop in uh, the chimneys again. And then... Uh, uh, I've got some, I was going to do it with ink, but I really want to get this done. <laughs> so I'm going to, I think, use these, uh, I don't have them with me right here, but these uh, these nice uh, ink pens that I got uh, uh, years ago, and they, they aren't dried out, miraculously enough, um, to do the details in sort of sepia and umber and sanguine and black and white. I'll, I'll use some liquid ink as well to, in certain places because the... Uh, the um, terracotta pots on the chimneys, uh, you know, are, are sort of the, the, the light falls on one side, so I'm going to have to create that that volumetric effect in, in that manner. So, what do you think, huh? It's coming along, hey? This might be done tomorrow. It's kind of cool. I don't know. We'll see how it turns out. Huh? Okay. And then, uh oh, we only have a minute left. So, uh, this one, I'll just peel off the, uh, the chimneys right here. Can you, can you all see this? Okay, so, here come the chimneys. Do, 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 do. Well, actually, I'll show you. Yeah, okay, here we go. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 very nice. Okay, but check this out. These clouds are done in white ink, and in drying, they sort of cracked a little bit. Can you see that? And I love that texture, and I thought, okay, that's kind of a, sh you know, that's kind of, I don't know. But the whole thing is fantasy anyway, so I don't think it matters that much. And see there, I made the little windows in the, in the stencil or push by, as I like to say. So that's how it turned out. All right. Well, thanks everyone for stopping by. Time to go. Ciao for now. Bisous.